In this video, I want to share with you guys three side hustles that you can start this week. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you guys the pros and the cons for every single one of those side hustles. Early this year, the lease to our car was coming to an end. And my wife wanted a SUV and Mercedes. So we went to the Mercedes dealership and, you know, we couldn't find anything in the dealer. We walked into the dealer and there was literally one car in the whole lot. Everything else was sold out. And to me, that was mind boggling. What the hell is going on? Then we left there. We went to Tesla. They had nothing. We went to BMW. They barely had a couple of cars. We simply found an X3 SUV and then we ended up buying that. Fine, I'll take it. But what I realized is that since COVID, there has been a very high demand for new cars, but the production for new cars have been very low due to China not being able to produce a specific chip that goes into cars that helps them pretty much start or become a car, right? And what that did is it made people, instead of looking to buy new cars, there was literally no production. They started buying used cars. And what that did, it simply doubled, if not tripled the price of used cars. So because of that, the very first side hustle is flipping cars. Now, the pros about flipping cars is that anyone can do it. You don't need to have a you know, experience, any previous experience, you can literally get started anytime. Also, time to market is very short because you could go to websites uh, like Auto Trader and other websites and actually find cars that are for sale, buy them, and then flip them on websites like Craigslist, OfferUp, or any other websites. Now, the cool thing is that there is also auctions. You can buy cars that are salvaged, that were salvaged by either because of an accident, because of a flood or whatever, and you can buy them, fix them if you have access to a an auto body dealership that can help you out with fixing them, and then flip them online for a profit. Because of the low volume of or low volume of, of inventory of new cars, the demand is now massive for uh, used cars. Now, the cons about that is that you need capital. Capital is definitely needed for you to get started. Number two, it's not easily scalable. And the reason for that is, you know, how many cars are you going to be able to buy and sell on a weekly and a monthly basis, right? And also because now many people are shifting towards buying used cars and selling them. Um, many people are actually keeping on to their cars and they are charging more for their used cars. So the price for used cars could also start increasing. And third, it's not location dependent. So if you're looking to start a business where you could, um, you know, do it from anywhere in the world um, and, 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 you know, maybe use your laptop, that's definitely not going to be the, the, the type of business for you. Uh, this is good if you are okay with, you know, running a business locally, if you want to make a few hundred dollars per week, a few thousand dollars per month, this would be perfect for you. Now, if you think number one is a good side hustle, wait to hear number two and most importantly, number three. But if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell so that way you can get notified every time we drop a brand new video. While doing research, I realized that in America alone, there are over 31 million businesses, 25 million of which are small businesses that have one employee or less. And what I realized is that a lot of these businesses are traditional businesses, retail businesses like my restaurant seven years ago. And many of these businesses simply don't even know, are, are just, they're ancient and don't even know about social media marketing, don't even know what they're missing out on when it comes to putting their business on the map. And looking back at my restaurant, had I just created a Instagram page, a Facebook page, ran some ads online, drove people through, you know, social media into my restaurant, I would have probably exploded the business because I was still stuck in, you know, sending newspapers and doing tags on on cars and sending out uh, little flyers to homes and things like that, which, you know, used to work 20, 30 years ago. But with today's world with social media, one business model that you can start this week is social media marketing. With social media marketing, you can simply contract you know, local businesses to your area where they can pay you anywhere between three to $500 where you would work on their social media presence. And that would be their Facebook page, Instagram page, maybe even helping them create a YouTube channel and just putting their business on the map so that way people, the hundreds of millions of people that are swiping through, you know, social media every single day can actually now see these businesses. Therefore, you attract new customers that they can never attract. Now, some of the pros of this business is that you don't need capital to get started because the business is going to be paying you for your work. 
And the cool thing is that the only thing that is really involved is your time. The second thing is you don't really need a team to actually start this business because you could do it yourself and you could have multiple uh, businesses pay you at the same time. And third, as I mentioned earlier, there are over 31 million businesses in America alone. Now, some of the cons of this business is that it's done for you. You're actually doing the work for your customer. And from my previous experience, done for you does not scale very easily because there is a lot to do. There's a lot of attention needed. Secondly, clients are going to get needy. I remember when we ran Done For You Amazon uh, for our clients in 2020, they just became very needy. And over time, it becomes very hard for you to deliver on what you're promising, especially when you have a lot of you know customers breathing down your neck. And third, you can't really charge a whole lot in the beginning, just simply because no one knows you. You don't have track record. You don't have clients' testimonials. You know, some of your students uh, or some of your clients uh, haven't really gotten results. And so you trying to market yourself might be a little difficult. However, all in all, this is a great business that you can actually start today from anywhere in the world. Now, if you believe that number two is valuable and that someone you know could find this valuable as well, please be sure to share this video with them. Now, I am personally most excited about number three, but be sure to stay until the end of this video because I will be sharing with you something super cool that can help you accelerate the third business should you actually decide to start that business. April 28th, 2015 is when my restaurant burned down. I got that call at 5 p.m. Eastern once I had just left the restaurant and you know, John said, boss, the kitchen is on fire. By the time I got there, the kitchen was destroyed and I had no insurance to cover it. So I was simply out hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now there are $150,000 in debt and I was just left for, for nothing, right? And I realized that I needed to do something, but I knew that, you know, I didn't want to do any, any retail business anymore because for the past about seven, eight years, I had only done retail. I had really mostly worked in restaurants and had to be there physically to, to earn money. And it wasn't location dependent. You know, if I wanted to take a vacation, if I wanted to go out with some, with my girlfriend at the time, now my wife, I simply couldn't do that, you know, and I couldn't overlook my business. Yes, I could look at my cameras, but I couldn't really overlook my business. And I knew that I needed to do something a little different. And around that same time is when I met up with one of my high school friends and he told me that he works from home. And at the time, I didn't understand what he meant by I work from home. But what I realized is that there was this new industry, this new kind of world that I had that I did not even know about, which was online business, which was just working from home, which was working online. And I remember one day taking my two inch thick, you know, 25 pound heavy Toshiba laptop, going to Starbucks, opening it up and just saying, you know, you're supposed to make me money, show me how. I went to YouTube and just started searching all kinds of businesses. And I got bombarded. I was very overwhelmed because for the last 10 years, I had been trying to work so hard to do this business thing, but I had been doing it wrong. I see all these 18-year-olds running around with Lamborghinis and living the kind of lifestyle that I couldn't even dream of and didn't even know that it actually existed. And that's when I got hooked. And I started all kinds of businesses. But the one business that really stuck to me was this concept of Amazon FBA private label. Now, just to, you know, before I go into the pros and cons of this business and whether or not you should start it, I want to kind of break it down to you and explain to you what it is. So it's where you actually find, you know, products, you directly contact the suppliers, the manufacturers, and you find a product. So for instance, this pencil right here, I can go to the supplier of this pencil and just simply talk to them and say, hey, look, I, I, I want to order 300 of them. I want to order 500 of them. And I want to put in my own uh, label my own brand. Um, and what I, you know, what I do is I private label this product and I send it directly to Amazon, where Amazon will store the product for me, do fulfilling for me, and do the customer service as well. And when I found out about this business model, I was hooked. And for the last seven years, that's exactly what I've been doing. So let's dive right in right now and share with you what are some of the pros and cons of this business. So let's dive into the cons first. Number one, you need capital. In this case, you need about five to $10,000 to really make this business succeed. Secondly, it takes about 60 to 90 days for you to actually generate revenue because you need to contact. First, you need to know what product to sell. Then you need to contact suppliers. Then you know it takes some time to them to manufacture, ship to Amazon's warehouses, and so on. Now, the pros, however, about this business is that anyone can do it. You don't need experience. And on top of that, some of you guys might have you know bad record, uh, bad credit. Maybe you have, like for me, I had been arrested for a DUI driving under the influence because I was drinking heavily and I was depressed. 
and I had a misdemeanor on my record. Any job wouldn't hire me, right? But Amazon didn't care. Also, I know that you need five, ten thousand dollars, but you could actually partner with someone and give them a stake in your company or simply just borrow money. And people would actually do it because you are building an asset, right? If you go to try to, to recruit investors or try to you know borrow money from banks or anyone any, anywhere else, the first thing that people will ask you is what collateral do I have? What is kind of what's the guarantee that if things go, you know, go sideways, how do I recoup my money? Well, you're building an asset. This is a business. There is products involved. So you can liquidate the product and pay your creditors back. So people will actually partner up with you. And that's what I did as well as I you know, borrowed money and partnered up with people to get started on Amazon. Third, Amazon takes care of all the heavy lifting for you. They are doing your customer service. They're storing the product for you. And they're also fulfilling the orders for you. And not to mention, you're tapping into Amazon's uh, customers and their database. Also, it's very scalable. You know, I've been able to scale my business to multiple seven figures per year, multiple six figures per month. And we've also been able to show other students, you know, make it happen as well. And lastly, and most importantly, that there is training available. When I started, there was less sellers than there is today, but today there is a lot more resources. With BJK University, we've enrolled over 5,000 students that are now learning how to sell on Amazon successfully, right? So training is available. Tools are available for you to actually succeed and make it happen other than any other businesses that really is just kind of, you got to figure out on your own and you have to read books or whatever. There is actually a lot of awesome resources available for Amazon. And with that said, if this is something that you are actually interested in and you want to learn more about, I want to actually give you a free gift. If you look here on the screen, there's actually a video that we recorded just a couple of days ago that will show you how your product can generate more sales than anyone else's products, even if you're both selling the same exact thing. So be sure to check out this video. Outside of that, I'll see you then. Chat soon.